No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? This is your big homie, MC Ron Ski, and this is No Chill, No Filter TV. And this is about to be my recap of the 2020 Vision uh, Go Hard or Go Home URLTV.TV event. Um, shout out my man's Chris Kane and Big Tay, you know what I'm saying? They put on a dope-ass event, man. Shout out to all the battlers that braved the storm, man, literally, and got here, man, in a snowstorm, blizzard, man. That's the reason why, man, these ducks, these ducks are not acceptable, period. If them guys got here, man, and blizzards and stuff like that, man, I, n excuses are non, non-existent, null and void, you know what I mean? I don't know... What y'all was thinking, man, when y'all when y'all was thinking, man, but bottom line is, man, if y'all didn't make this event, it is what it is, man. I don't even want to say nothing, you know, because it, it, I don't really mention ducks, but, you know, after that, then you got God Body Blue coming from Tennessee, then coming up through Indiana and picking up battlers, man, and bringing them here. Come on, man. That, that right there just goes to show, man, that, you know, you can say what you want to say. Excuses. Null and void. Period, man. Y'all can go somewhere with that. If them guys got here, man, in a in a blizzard, snowstorm, fam, and it was messed up outside, they got here. Period, man, and got off. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, man. If if you duck, then that's what I that's what I say about you, man. You, you you're bogus. Period. Okay, and it's even people that live here that duck. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. I'm. Ooh, boy, I, I, I did want to say something, but I ain't going to even say nothing, man. I'm just going to keep it on this recap, and we're going to jump right on into it, man. The first battle of the night, man, was Draco Nato versus Domination. I gave that to Domination, man, because Domination just had a little bit more performance, more energy, more bars, just more content, period. Um, Draco Nato, you asked me a question, man. I I didn't really have a, a, a real answer for you at, at that point, man, because I wanted to see it again, and then after watching the footage... I just think that, you know, you're not 100% comfortable with yourself right now. And after 11 battles, you should definitely be, you know, more comfortable than you are, you know what I'm saying, when you're in the ring. Um, it just seemed like maybe you should just put a little bit uh, for, uh, forth a little bit more effort, you know what I'm saying, into like really, really practicing because uh, domination just seemed like, you know, that's just what he do daily, you know what I mean? So if you're going to go up against anybody, man, you got to get up in there and you got to be comfortable. You got to be able to like just sit back. You know, that's why Snoop Dogg was so successful because he just, oh, no, big shit. You know what I mean? It wasn't no, oh, no, big Snoop Dogg. It was, no, no, sir. You know what I mean? So, you know, you if, lay back a little bit. You know what I mean? Don't, don't overthink anything. Don't think that, you know, you got to get up there and get somebody face and act like you're finna punch him, you know, because then that kind of takes away from what you're thinking about, because now you focusing all on trying to, you know what I mean, just, you know, get them bars together, and then you can get together your performance, you know what I'm saying, it just seemed like you kind of got the bars together, but you wasn't really focused on your performance, and then when you get in front of that camera, knowing that that camera rolling will kind of you know, getting your head like, man, dude, I got to really, you know what I mean? So then you go to overthinking things and that takes away from your performance. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I hope that made some type of sense to you. But for real, that that's that's the reason why I gave that to uh, Domination because he was just a little bit more convincing. All right. Second battle, man, was a uh, should have just remained uh, a two way battle, man, between God Body Blue and DNT Uncontained. But for some reason, they had to throw Scotty Lyrical up in there, and that's pretty much what they did, man. It's like they threw catfish and gumbo. I don't know what the fuck kind of sense that make. But uh, yeah, man, um, Scotty, you know. Violence to my violence is like music to my ears. You know what I mean? I'm not for play. Clearly, my ops are diva. Y'all expecting me to believe that they'll pop the heater? You know what I mean? Because, you know, and then, look, I'm asking my audience, man, the No Chill, No Filter TV audience that's watching this, what does this mean? Bro, y'all niggas can snake at the Huh? Can, can somebody answer that for me, please? What 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 does that actually mean? And you know what? It's just so funny because there was this huge discussion on Facebook about what people say when you know and, and you know what I, I know what it is man you know because it's because you you know people like that are in the mirror all day and they punching and they rapping and they doing it and they telling themselves dog boy the crowd is gonna erupt 
the, 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 the roof going to blow off when I say this and everybody just going to pass out. You get yourself psyched up like that on your own bars and then you get in that ring and it don't happen the way you want it to happen. Then you standing there like this. <laughs> Y'all niggas is asleep. Yeah, 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 this yeah, crowd. Yeah. And that's kind of whack. I'm just keeping it 100, you know. Oh, y'all sleep. Y'all didn't get it. Don't worry about that. What you need to worry about is there's a camera rolling. And you will be on YouTube. There will be possibly thousands of people seeing you. You know what I mean? So why are you... Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, DNT Uncontained. Oh, man, dude. Oof, man. It was... Yeah. Look. God body blue, period. Round one, three, and two. <laughs> yeah, bars. Yeah, I got some too. But yeah, man, um, God body blue took that 100%, man. So, um, ain't no use to me really talking about that no more. I don't know. DNT Uncontained kind of slipped a, slipped a whole round. So, I, I don't, you know. And then, But he did bring it back, you know, in his defense. He did bring it back. And God body blue still just kind of, you know, quashed it. And, um... I, I just really don't know what to say about Scotty Lyrical because you know he he was saying bars he was he was landing you know every now and again you know but you know you know yeah you know Scotty Lyrical okay man so God Body Blue took that man 100 percent seemed like he was the only one on stage and I'm not saying that to be you know funny or or you know down anybody else because you know what getting up on that stage getting in front of that camera getting in front of an audience man and actually spitting man you already get credit for that you know what i mean but when you get up there there are certain things that the audience is expecting and i am as a fan of battle rap is expecting more so god body blue definitely came through um so yes you um, god body blue took care of both of y'all um third battle of the night man mac g versus domination i gave that to domination um because mac g ran into a roadblock and fell off a little bit and when you run into those roadblocks like that especially when it comes to a point where people are about to just you know what i mean so you know you you don't you don't want to you don't want that roadblock to stop you that hard you know what i mean so um bars definitely mac g had them bars you know what i'm saying i i was i was listening to what you were saying fam you you was dope you know what i'm saying i was i was watching it again you know what i mean um uh, but domination just had a just had a little bit more, and he wasn't, he was prepared, you know what I'm saying, so I gave that to Domination, I'm gonna leave that like that, y'all will see the battle when it drops, um, I don't know how they gonna drop, I don't know if they gonna drop two or three this week, I don't know how they gonna do it, you know what I mean, you'll have to talk to Big Tay or Chris Kane. Okay, man, speaking of Chris Kane, last battle of the evening, evening King Crash versus Chris Kane, fire battle, I got Chris Kane on that, but y'all will be seeing it. And please don't call me biased because that's my little cousin. Well, maybe I shouldn't be judging that battle. But it was a fire-ass battle, and I'm keeping it 100, man. You know what I'm saying? Kane Crash, fire as hell. But, you know, I thought, honestly, his, his round ended a little bit too soon. And I'm talking about it, it was so short, I thought it was... Around, I thought it was gonna be a three rounder. You know what I'm saying? That's why when he, you know, when when Chris Kane started rapping, I had you know pull one of the guys to the side. Like, is this three or you know what I'm saying? Is it one? And they said it was one. So I'm thinking to myself, like, if Chris rapped like you know six or seven minutes, and it's fire, then you know that's gonna kind of decide the battle. I mean, the time, the time alone can can kind of decide the battle. But the content, you know what I mean? Now, the content was fire. So, you know, that's the reason why I gave that to Chris Kane. Because Chris Kane came to battle. He 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 banged it out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, once again, man, shout out to all the battlers that made it to the event, man. And I'm glad y'all made it there in one piece. Made it there safely. You know what I'm saying? And I pray that y'all made it back home safely. I ain't heard nothing crazy. So, you know, that's good. That's a good sign. So, hopefully everybody made it back home. Um, shout out to, you know what I'm saying, all the supporters of No Chill, No Filter TV, all the supporters of Go Hard or Go Home, Free to God, man, Free GE, you know what I'm saying, shout out to, you know what I'm saying, my dude Chris Kane and, and Big Tay for putting on a dope ass event, I know they didn't have to do it, you know what I mean, y'all need to understand another thing, man, these battlers that be ducking, dude, this is not cheap for these um, league owners, man, and, you know, when you see me standing there, you already know who that they they 
they paying money. You know what I mean? These guys is not playing no games. And for y'all to like wait the week of and all of those other type of stuff. Dude, that that kind of that kind of puts a, that kind of puts a, a dent in your in your can for real, man. So I'm just letting y'all know, man. If y'all if y'all sign up for a battle, man, make it to the battle, man. All of those other stuff, like I said, you got guys that made it to this battle, man, in a blizzard. One guy, like I said, come from down south, man, and went through another city. You know what I mean? Out of his way. To pick up other battlers, man, and, and got them to this event, man. So, for real, for real, man, I'm not really the, the excuses y'all can save them. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is on that, man. But either way it go, this your big homie, MC Ronski. Shout out to Go Hard, Go Home, man, URL TV, man. Um, shout out Big Tay, Chris Kane, man, for putting on that dope-ass event. 2020 Vision. Shout out Lady Loyalty with her chunk ass, you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, she got she got up there and did her thing, you know. Lady loyalty was in the house, um, you know. Once again, man, shout out to all who supported, man. Shout out to Sirius was there. King Kamazi came through, although his opponent wasn't there or whatever. You know, I really don't know what to say about that one because I was definitely looking forward to that. Um, Bricks, I'm pretty sure Bricks um, did push his pen, um, but hey, it is what it is. What are you gonna do, right? Okay, man, that was my recap, man. It's your big homie, MC Ryan Ski, man. It's No Chill, No Filter TV, and I'm about this bitch. Peace. No chill, no filter. <laughs> TV, bitch!